Hey everyone, I am here with Kelly Middleton. Hey Kelly. Hi there. How you doing? Good. How are you, Jennifer? I'm doing good. So Kelly is with the Jeff Johnson Group from Keller Williams out of Minneapolis. And we were going to talk today about how to ask for a referral from your sphere. Because it's like a little, it can be a little bit intimidating, especially as like a new agent or newer agent or somebody who just hasn't asked, oh, they've only gotten business from people that they don't know. So what, how do you do it, Kelly? So I do it a few different ways. I actually wrote down a, a few different main ways that are, you know, that have worked for me at least. Okay. Um, but really, so, so I was recently married. So last year, 2020, um, it, so I was fortunate to have a really updated address list. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> right? That's perfect. For, yes, for all of the invites. So um, first and foremost, it's really, really important to like have updated information, right? So just make sure that you like, go through all your contacts and just make sure you've got like a really good list of people. If it's just phone number, you know, fine if, or right. email or whatever. But I it was fortunate to have everyone's address too. So I could That's perfect. <laughs> you know, little things. Um, but yeah, so first and foremost, but I mean, really, I think it's about making it personal. So I know that sometimes it's, it can be a little awkward if, you know, you're calling your aunt, you're calling your right. you know, friend that you haven't spoken to in, in quite a while. Um, but really, especially if you're a brand new agent um, or, you know, getting started, I think it's kind of more of a natural conversation that you would have mm -hmm. and just saying, hey, this is what I'm doing with my life, you know, right, right. now. So, um, so really, that's kind of more of a a natural conversation that you could have with people but um but really I think first just give them a call you know it's yeah. it, it's kind of a hard hump to get over just because if you're starting out and you're not and if you don't really have a huge sales background mm -hmm. that can be a huge hurdle too and I come from sales I've been in sales and recruiting for oh, almost 10 years so right. it comes more naturally to me to just pick up the phone and call someone um so it doesn't come naturally to everyone but I would say try and get over that hurdle and just have a natural conversation with someone you know and just be honest with them say you know I am just starting out this is um something I just want to do you know and give them a little detail about, about right. your business and what you're doing. And, um, and you know, they know you, so they would probably be well, okay with having a conversation. Yeah, they'll be totally <laughs> fine with it. I think too, if you like start off with maybe like some type of like announcement, so depending on your audience, right. It might be on social media or it may be like something, right. So yeah. then you're like following up, like, Hey, I'm not sure. I know it's been a while since we talked, I'm not sure if you saw my announcement, but I'm very excited that I just got my real estate license. Right. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And like exactly. just starting off like that. And I'm looking for, and I would be as like specific as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Like I am looking for sellers that, and it's specific to them. So like sellers that live like in their specific neighborhood or their specific area or where their kids go to school or like whatever. Yeah. Or if you have a buyer already that you're looking for, that's a good way too. Yeah. So like I have a buyer that's looking in whatever school district and I thought of you, who do you know that's thinking about selling or whatever? Like that. Absolutely. And the other thing I thought of is it's okay to ask specifically who do you know, yeah. you know, and it, when you're calling your sphere and especially like, I remember a phone call, um, back when I was first starting that I, I knew this person that was an old family friend mm -hmm. and, you know, he was recently retired, but he, you know, he started his own business from scratch and just throughout the years, he knows everyone. everyone. He's just one of those people yeah. that knows everyone. Mm -hmm. So I made it a point to say, listen, I, who do you know yeah. right now that I could reach out to? And he's, he was glad to give me names. Of and course. Cause he yeah. wants to help. And even if like, if you have somebody like that in your sphere, it's even like, Hey, I'm, I don't like, I don't know if you saw my announcement. I'm so excited. I just got my real estate license. I immediately thought of you because you know, everybody you've owned right. your own business. Like, do you, do you have a minute to talk? I could really use some help. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, yes or no, or whatever. And then, yeah, like ask them, like, you know, 
everybody. I'd love to like get your business tips. And also, who do you know that I can help sell a house? Or, I mean, I would always focus on sellers because like the thing is I found when you're like asking for referrals, people automatically think about buyers. Yeah. But like, so mention the sellers yeah. because they already are already thinking about buyers. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, one other thing that I thought of is handwritten notes. I know yeah. that like sometimes that's super it's <laughs> lovely. It is. It well, it is. And if you think like when you get your mail, you know, what yeah. do you pay attention to? And it's always those notes from or like a birthday card or something. Yeah. You notice that the address is handwritten. Yeah. You know, and you're gonna open that. Yeah. <laughs> For so, sure. Yeah. So I know it's, it can be kind of time consuming, but definitely that's something I did right away is I, I wrote handwritten notes to everyone. And then I put in a couple business cards and just mm -hmm. like called it out in the note and just say, Hey, I would really appreciate it if you passed along my information and, right. and they have it physically yeah. um, to pass out. But I was going to mention one other thing. So yeah. I, um, because I've been in sales for a while, this is something that I've been doing for a little while now, but uh, I, I have an iPhone okay. and it's really, really easy to set up a digital business card on your phone. Oh, nice. Um, to just like, you know, email or text to yeah. someone. So let's say you're in the grocery store and you just happen to like have a random conversation with someone mm -hmm. or you're at the park with your kids or something. And um, they ask for your information instead of, you know, physically handing them a card or let's say, God forbid, you don't have one, you know, handy. Um, you can just text or email your digital business card right from your phone. Do you know how to do it? How do you do it? Yeah. So it's, so on my iPhone, it's under contacts. Okay. Um, so you go under your contacts and mm -hmm. then your name should pop up at the very top, right? So you, you have your own kind of contact of course already set up um in your phone but right under that it says my card oh okay and so I just click on that and then you can edit at the top right hand quarter it's just an edit button mm -hmm. and you can edit all of your information so you put in your um your web address your email phone number all that good stuff and then at the bottom you can share contact and that'll oh, cool. bring up you know, email, text, anything. So it's super, super. Easy. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a great tip. I like it. But also too, you made me think about the handwritten notes. We've been using send out cards. Do you know the send out cards? Yeah, I think so. What do you, what do you mean by that? Let's talk. So what they are is like, they look handwritten, but they're oh, on the computer. Yeah. yeah. And you can like, um, we have like a subscription to it. I think we have an affiliate code too. If anybody wants it, you can just message me. But um, it's like where you can grab pictures like from Facebook, like for their birthday, like say they put up a super cute, I don't know, whatever, the kid's birthday or whatever, right? Yeah. Like you see a picture that you know that they will want, then you can grab it, put it in the car, write something in it. But if you did like, let's say you wanted to start calling your sphere and you haven't been calling them. So you could do it like when you first started, like you suggested, and that could be like your announcement. You mail this to them, or you can do it like celebrating your third anniversary as a realtor right. or whatever, like whatever it is, but you can make something up as the reason to send out the card. And then that's what you're like following up on too. You right. Know? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a good reminder too, for agents who have been in the field for a while, I'm sure, yeah. you know, it's of course, you're trying to do as much lead generation as possible and getting new clients in the door. But I mean, you're, you're funny. Scared. Like, you know, nobody lead generates, right? <laughs> they should. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your sphere is the, you know, you talk to these people all the time. So they're right. the ones who have your back and they're the ones who want to give out your information. Right. Usually. Usually. <laughs> right. So like, if they don't, like if you're, if you're not sure, right. Like the other question I find really helpful to ask is, would you feel comfortable referring me if you knew of somebody that was looking for a realtor? And you can tell by their response if they're really comfortable doing it or not, because some people are not comfortable. They do not want to do business with their friends. And that's not because they don't believe in you. They just don't want to do business with people that they know. And that's okay. Right. So okay. you can be like, be like, okay, well, I, I can tell that that doesn't work for you, but can you do me a favor? 
I'm happy to refer them if you don't think they would be a good fit for me. But this way too, I can still make some money and match them with an agent that they're going to match better with. Would you be comfortable doing that? And most people are like, yes, like they would do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that gives them, because there's so many posts I see that's like, oh, my friend used another agent or whatever. And it's like, well, you didn't do a good job of telling them the options that they didn't have to use you. They didn't right. want to use you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Give them some options. I mean, at least be a resource for them. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I know like one of the big hangups for people too is like, okay, so now I, I can do the intro call, but like, now I want to call them again. <laughs> what do I say? I know it, it is really tricky. I mean, to constantly contact your sphere because yeah. it is that awkward thing. Because like, let's be honest, how often do you really call your friends and talk to them over the phone? Right. You know, it's like we're texting constantly or yeah. we're on social media, you know, yeah. saying whatever. But I, yeah, it is at times it can be awkward to kind of get over that hump. Um, but honestly, I think too, that even if your conversation doesn't revolve around real estate, you know, it, it, it is, that's all course. I talk about. So that's what it revolves around. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But like too, if it, depending on how close they are to you, obviously, you know, yeah. but like to be a friend and just to be top of mind too, because yeah. it's like, um, hey, let's have a conversation or even like call and say, hey, do you guys want to come over for a barbecue or like we haven't seen each other in a long time. Let's get the right. kids together or let's go to the dog park or whatever. Like whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like it just keep yourself at top of mind. So when, you know, someone does come to them and hey, do you know anyone? They're like, oh, yeah, actually, I just hung out with her the other night, you know. So yeah, I, I think that's good. I would also recommend like if because as you begin to, as people begin to do this, they'll start to realize that there's some people that are more connectors than others, right? And so like those connectors are really like your A people. And like you said, do you want to stay top of mind to them? So another trick that I like is setting up like a CMA, but only sending it to yourself, but of their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So you can be like, girl, did you see your neighbor's house? Just went, whatever, right? So like yeah. you're creating the gossip about the topic. Mm -hmm. So then it's it's easier for you to be like asking them for a referral or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Or like, I just thought of you because of this, but like always like having it in there where your community, if they're your very like top, like A, at least once a month, if not more. Yeah. always communicating with them and like setting your reminders for yourself to be like, okay, what am I going to talk to? Like they're in your mind then. Like right. I need to, I need to talk, call these five people this week yeah. or whatever, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's a good idea too, to like, I mean, not that you like constantly have to be like up, up on the CMA information on every single neighborhood at every single moment. No, just like but your like, top, your top, yeah. your A people just to create conversation pieces. You know what I mean? Like, or like if you're, if you're in a Facebook group, like if they're on your Facebook, like list, like your A list, right. Then you're seeing their crap and you could be like, you know, maybe their kid played a soccer game and you have like a listing over there or you have a, you know, and you maybe you could be like, Hey, I saw your kid played on the soccer field. I have a house over there. What did you think about the field? Like I'm getting questions about it or like, yeah, whatever. Right totally conversation starters yeah and even if you think of your sphere and your friends and whatever and think about the different neighborhoods they live in yeah. and where you want to work you know if I right. have a few friends that live in some neighborhood in Minneapolis that I'm in that I really want to get into you know that's that's when you contact them more about their CMAs or oh, about their neighborhoods I would be up also. their ass about it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like you've got to get me in there Hey, we're exactly. having a party at your house. We're door knocking all your friends. I'm providing door prizes. Like yeah. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to host it at your house. Yeah, get ready. <laughs> right. We're doing an open house. Even though you lived there for five years. We're doing it. We, I mean, especially now that could be a good idea. Like one, cause COVID is over soon, right? Like that's what in different States or whatever. So it's like, well, you have like a, a have an open house and call it that and hope like, cause we do that for, uh, we used to do it for buyers. 
So when buyers, we would have a budget of like $500, they could invite like 30 of their um, friends or whatever, and we would pay to cater it. But at the same time, we would provide like two gift baskets, one for the adults and one for the kids. And so for the adults, we'd get the information, right? It's like their name, their phone number. If you yeah. want to be entered to win the door prize, you got to put the crap, you got to put the information in there. So now we have their information and we got tons of leads out of it. But like, exactly. I love that idea. If you if there's a neighborhood that your friend lives in that you really want to live in, have like a COVID, uh, open house COVID party. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Like COVID's over. Yay. Let's have a party. Yeah. Absolutely. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> It's perfect. I think the main point here that I want people to understand is I like how you said, just go ahead and call them. Like, it's fine. They're your friends. They want to help you. Yeah. You know? So just freaking do it. And if you're, if you're like hesitant, then make your first call, like your best friend, your mom, one of us, like someone yeah. who's going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, of course, like, you know, you're the best, you're the greatest. <laughs> and then you, you'll get like, momentum to make the second call right. you know and if you're not sure what to say like think about what's going on in their neighborhood and chances yeah. are especially in this market that the prices have gone up you know mm -hmm. maybe your friend bought five years ago and they the percent increase is like a 40 or 50 in some cases a hundred percent increase absolutely i mean really just make if conversation doesn't come as naturally to you just make mm -hmm. some talking points just write them down before you call and say hey right. All right, I'm going to focus on this, like if conversation is tough, but I mean, honestly, try not to make it weird or awkward. You're just talking to someone, you know, right. So right. try to have a natural conversation, you know, and, and those, those things will come up, you know, it's yeah. So or like worst case scenario, be like, <laughs> Kelly, as you know, I am in real estate. And I just got like, my coach challenged me to call my friends. This is right. super freaking awkward. You know, I'm awkward, but will you practice with me? Right. And they'll be like, sure. And then you'll be like, okay, Kelly, Hey, this and like practice and role play with them and try Absolutely. it. But while you're doing that, you're actually asking them. <laughs> and I like that idea of like blaming your broker, like, yeah. Hey, this is my goal. And right. <laughs> yeah. They said I'd win a prize if I got so many people to practice with me or whatever, right. you know, and like, I'll challenge you. Call me, call Kelly. We'll chat. We'll put right. a challenge on for you, depending Absolutely. on who, you know what I mean? Depending on what you need to do. It's great. <laughs> I love well, it. It's some really good ideas. I hope people like, you know, they stop feeling awkward and just freaking do it, especially now, you know? always to yep. grow your business. Yeah. Um, referrals are a huge, huge, huge part of your business. I mean, even, even before I started real estate, when mm -hmm. I was just doing sales and recruiting referrals was a huge percentage. Yeah. It always is. Yeah. Well, and you can always ask like, you know, thanks for helping me. Like, how can I help you? What are you working on? Absolutely. Like, Cause most of your friends are like you. So they're probably also business owners or whatever. Mm -hmm. They've got stuff going on too. Yeah you know, yeah, that's absolutely. cool. Well, I really appreciate you being on. If people have a referral in uh, Minneapolis, what is the best way to get a hold of you? Awesome. So, um, for sure, call or text. So my number is 952-836-8323. Mm -hmm. And then of course, email is good too. So Kelly in that spelled K E L L I E at the Jeff Johnson group.com. Easy enough. Thanks yeah. a lot, Kelly. I appreciate it. Thank you it. so much. Thanks for having me on. So Bye. fun. Bye.